So you need 10 gigabytes of RAM for that one program or game, but you only have 8. What happens now? Let's check it out. RAM is the place where your PC puts all of the important data that it is currently using or that it thinks it will need again soon. Whatever is important and needed a lot but doesn't fit in the cache memory goes into your RAM memory. It is also the second fastest type of memory in your system, with cache being the fastest and SSDs and hard drives being slower. Now what happens if your computer needs to put something into RAM but there isn't enough space available in it? Well, that new thing has to get into RAM. That doesn't change. To solve this, your computer looks for one thing in RAM that it thinks is the least likely to be used soon and writes that to the hard drive. Since mass storage drives are way slower than RAM, it takes a long time compared to what it would have taken if there was enough space in memory. Once the disk write is done, the newcomer is brought into RAM and that's that. Or is it? You see, we just swapped something out that was in RAM. The computer does its best to find something that is less important and swap that thing out, but it's just a guess and sometimes it gets it wrong. Even worse, sometimes everything is important. The problem here is that we might end up needing that thing that we first swapped out again. At that point, we have to swap something else out, wait for a disk write and bring our original swap back in. At this point, you can probably see how we can end up in a pretty vicious cycle. The more we need to swap because of insufficient RAM, the more time we have to spend just waiting for drive writes. This is why when you're running at 100% RAM usage, everything tends to get really slow. These events also have a name, which you might or might not have heard. When you need something in RAM but it's not there and you end up having to get it from disk, that is called a page fault. RAM also isn't one contiguous block, but it is split into small chunks called pages, hence the page in page fault. When a page is swapped to the disk, it is put in a predefined place called a page file. Now, memory management in computers is a topic so large and detailed that many computer science textbooks devote hundreds of pages to it, but we don't have to go that deep. Overall, this is all you need to know about what happens when you run out of RAM. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more you can click on the right to watch my latest video or on the left to watch random video or just click the round channel icon in the middle to subscribe. And as always, this has been Vlad from Good Sauce Tech and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.